Are you a fan of bread? In Japan, astonishing new bread creations are being introduced every day. Let's look at the innovative breads causing a stir in Japan. Bread is loved by people all over the world, and Japan is currently enjoying a unique evolution in bread culture, from the use of Japanese ingredients to photogenic breads attracting attention on social media. Today, we'll be introducing some of these new trends in the Japanese bread scene. This is one floor of a department store in Japan, devoted entirely to food. A large section of the floor space is dedicated to bakeries. Newly unveiled in 2021, this bread section assembles 40 brands and 500 kinds of bread, making it one of the largest in the country. Word has spread quickly among bread lovers. Popular items sell out almost as soon as they're brought out of the oven. First introduced in Europe, bread has reached all corners of the world, evolving along the way. In Japan, bread has taken on a life of its own transforming in extraordinary ways, becoming deeply ingrained in day-to-day -day life. Throughout history, rice has been the main staple in Japanese cuisine. But for five straight years, from 2014 to 2018, annual family spending on bread surpassed that of rice. Bread is now considered an essential part of Japanese life. Otani Dieko is a producer of bakeries who has visited over 2,000 of them in and out of Japan. Let's dive into the history of bread in this country. In 1543, the Portuguese arrived in Tanegashima Island in southern Japan. It is said that they passed on cultural artifacts, including Western clothing, wine, guns, and yes, bread. Nearly 300 years later, in the early 19th century, the easily portable bread was viewed as ideal for soldiers in war. In 1842, Japan's first bakery was born. The Japanese began making bread for its own countrymen. In 1874, the Japanese confectioner Kimuraya came up with the idea for ampan, a bread using traditional sweets-making methods. With a moist outer skin and sweet red bean paste inside, the ampan was a hit. This bread, called melonpan, is wrapped in a thin cookie layer. It does not include melon, but was given the name because the surface resembles the skin of the fruit. Curry pan is a bread roll filled with curry, covered in panko breadcrumbs and deep fried. In addition, popular Japanese dishes are combined with bread for an endless variety of meal-in-one specialty breads. Enjoyed for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or as a snack between meals, store-bought and homemade bread has become a staple of Japanese life. I didn't realize so many breads originated in Japan. Look at all these different types of bread. They're so colorful and pretty too. And they smell good too. And here is one of Japan's most famous bread, the Ampang. As you can see here, let's see how it is inside. Ooh, we can see the sweet red bean paste inside. This is called Tsubu Ang. You could actually taste the actual beans. They're not totally mixed together in a cream. 
ただきます。うん、うん、うん、very sweet and it's got this really nostalgic flavor that I grew up with. I love a m p a n g So when I was in Boston during college, the bread there were very simple and plain, like the sandwich bread or the bagel rolls or the bread rolls.、Um, I didn't see these kinds of sweet dessert breads or these、uh, Japanese meals mixed in with the bread. And、um, there was a Japanese bakery in Boston, which was also popular amongst our friends. And my friends all loved this meron pan. Bread is part of everyday life in Japan, but right now it's evolving in unbelievable ways. Let's take a look at what's happening. A vast open space filled with tents and booths. Since launching in 2016, this bread festival has grown into one of Japan's largest, attracting over 900,000 visitors. Bread lovers gather for the rare opportunity to purchase breads from around the country. The most popular item at the event is this blueberry bread. Which holds a record of selling 1,000 loaves in a day. The bakery's original blueberry sauce is mixed into the dough and baked with a swirl of delicious blueberries. And this red melon pan is quite the attention grabber. Like a regular melon pan, the bread is covered with cookie dough, but inside, an entire apple. And here, shoppers delight in bread related merchandise. Bread is the motif for keychains, earrings, and other wearable items. Since 2013, one type of bread in particular has risen in popularity the premium white bread. This now famous brand transformed everyday white bread into a soft loaf like no other, using specialty ingredients and a one of a kind baking method. Kanari no shurui no poku shop dai o soroe te, ai shou ga au made tsukuri tsuke te, yato deki agata poku nama shop pan des. Yakeru ka yakenai ka de, naka made shinto suri o ni netsu ga. そういう製法でですねもう限りなく境目がわからないように柔らかい柔らかいパンを、えー、作りました The highly sought after bread is enjoyed at home and as gifts for others in the place of cakes and sweets And currently the fruit sandwich is the talk of the town This shop Specializing in fruit since 1952, created Japan's first takeout fruit sandwich, placing large chunks of fruit between two slices of white bread. Fresh and delicious, the sweet sandwiches are also beautiful. The bright colors sparkle on display. Various bread related hashtags have taken off on social media, with people sharing their photogenic breads daily. そういったのを個人が自由に発信できるみんな情報が交換できるっていうのはこれも一つファンの発展の一つかなと思います。Bakeries and shops are not the only innovators when it comes to bread. 
Individuals creating spectacular breads at home are attracting followers worldwide and have become part of a movement. Wow, look how popular the premium bread has become. Well, my two daughters love these premium bright bread too. Uh, they love the crust of the bread. We call it pangami meat, the ear of the bread. And they love all, to eat all of it. Today, I'm delighted to meet two Japanese bread artists who have been receiving a lot of attention on social media for their beautifully photogenic bread. Hello, thank you for joining me today. This is Ran, creator of the illustration bread. When sliced, her bread reveals charming illustration inspired visuals. She has 330,000 plus followers. In addition to flour and regular bread ingredients, illustration bread uses natural food coloring. First, the fermented bread dough is measured and divided. Food coloring is dissolved in a little water and mixed with the dough. The dough is divided into pieces that will make up the illustration and rolled into thin stick shapes. These parts are then stacked accordingly. When the illustration portion is complete, the entire roll is wrapped in bread dough. After it is given time to rise, the dough is baked in a bread pan. イラストパンはその生きた時に絵が出てくる楽しみがあるので、作っている私自身も最後本当に切ってみるまでどんな絵が出てくるかって正確なところはわからないので、毎回毎回その切る瞬間の楽しみっていうのは作ってる私もだし
それではもっともっとお話を伺っていきます、はい、よろしくお願いします,しま,すまずはランさんから作品を作るきっかけになったのは何ですか、はい、えっ、ー、ときっかけは息子が生まれた時に、はい、その子がえっ、ー、と食べ物にあんまり興味がなくて、うん、食べることよりも遊ぶことの方が楽しいみたいな感じだったので食事の時間にもうちょっと興味持ってもらえたらいいなと思って、うん、食べるものを面白く楽しくしてみようと思って作ったのが始まりですラン took her son's illustrations and incorporated them into her bread. Playful and fun, the finished bread is also a work of art. でエリーさんは、はい、パン作りのきっかけはランさんと同じように、えー、子供が生まれて、はい、ちょっと同じようにやっぱりあの、まあ、食に対するっていうか食欲がなくなって元気がなくなってしまった時にあるんです何も食べなくなってしまって。大好物のメロンパンなら食べるかなと思ってちょっと型を抜いて可愛くしてしたんですねだからすごく喜んでくれてどんどんいろいろ考えてあのたくさんの種類を作るようになったんです何がこう印象的なのがありますか印象的なのはうちの息子が釣りに行きたい釣りに行きたいってずっと言っていてでなんか魚をさばいて食べたいみたいなことを言ってたから鮭のパンを作ったんでこうパキッたらこう骨が出てくるんですけど娘はイクラが好きなのでイクラもパンで作ってなんか切ると骨とイクラが出てくるみたいなものを作りました模型のようにエリーさんはアイディアはどこから季節に応じたものも作りたいなというか身の回りのもの全部アイディアの,あの元にしていますパーツを貼り付けてあの最初は作ってたんですけど、うんうん、だんだんそこから変形していって、はい、お寿司のメロンパンでこうどういうことですかお寿司のメロンパン<笑><笑>あのご飯のところがパンで,、はい、でネタのところがクッキー生地で、はい、醤油じゃなくてチョコレートシロップにつけるた<笑>なるほど<笑>やっぱりこう作品を作っていて難しいポイントってどういうところですか作る前段階でその紙にいろんなデザインを書くんですけど、うんうん、そこで。すごい時間かかりますその犬は犬でもどんな犬がパンになった時に可愛いかそのパンになった時にどう映るかっていうのを想像していつもじゃあ最初の段階で最初の段階がすごい時間かかりますねでエリさんはどうですか私はバランスは、うん、あのとにかく詰めて貼り付けるっていうことなんですね、うん、で難しいんですけど子供に任せるともう好きなようにやるので自由に楽しんでいただけたらいいなと思ってそっかそうなんです Thank you very much Well, today I had the incredible honor of watching these artists work their magic, and I'm excited to experience a little bit myself. Yay! Yoroshiku onegai shimasu! Yoroshiku onegai shimasu! Ganbaru zo! Ganbaru zo! First, I will try making Ran's illustration bread. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu! The panda bear will be made using white, black, and green dough that has been colored with matcha powder. The dough is divided by size and color. I think it's very interesting and unique that for this type of bread, when we make the eye part, you have to make it into a string shape. So it's a long shape for the eyes. The eyes are then wrapped in a thin sheet of white dough. The panda bear's droopy eyes are created by placing the dough on the diagonals of a triangle. Next, the ears and other facial features are assembled and wrapped into place. Is this really going to turn out to be a panda? I really can't imagine. <laughs> Just layering long strips of bread and mm, we'll see how it goes. The final step is to wrap the entire piece in green dough.
どうですかね。I look forward to how it's gonna come out. Once out of the oven, the bread is cooled in order to maintain its shape when sliced. So we waited 30 minutes and it's ready to be cut. Um, I think these are some ears and eyes, but the parts are not aligned, so I'm kind of nervous right now. But we'll see how it goes. So, this is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than I anticipated. It's a panda. Oh, how cute. Kawaii. The panda illustration bread is a success. So now let's see how Ran's panda bread turned out. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Kawaii, it's very cute. Very centered in the middle, and the balance is very mm. beautiful. Next, it's time to try Ellie's Melon Pan de Cotta. Three sheets of colored cookie dough will be used in today's melon pan. First, the dough is cut into rabbit patterns. Chilled in the freezer, the individual pieces pop out easily. I cut out the cookie sheets into the rabbit shapes. This part was easy. Next, sugar is used for the rabbit's nose and black sesame for the eyes. <laughs> Dampen the tip of a skewer and set the sesame seed down one by one. It's interesting how the slightest details could change the expression. So you can have fun making all these different facial expressions. Spray a little water and attach the rabbits to the dough. <laughs> This is like solving a puzzle, like a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Granulated sugar is sprinkled on top. And the buns are placed in the oven. Voila! This is Ellie's bread, and this is Mari's. Both look fantastic. And now it looks like the bread is done. Let's take a look at them. Along with the breads Ron and Ellie baked just for today. Kuchira des! Wow! So cute! It's incredible. Look at all these cute animals. It's like an animal wonderland. I can't imagine this is all bread. Wow. <laughs> oh, these are the little bunnies that we made afterwards. え、ね、耳もこう形がこういう風に出来上がるんですね。<笑> 
、うん、動物園のコラボなので、うん、あと。えーあの子供がやっぱり大好きな動物をね、はい、いろいろ揃えて。これは立体的なんてどうなってるんですか。はい、クッキーで、うん、あの首と頭を作って後付けで焼けたメロンパンに乗っけて。はい。Well, as much as I would like to watch this forever, I'm getting a little hungry, so I think it's time to eat the bread. <笑>では一緒にはいいただきましょうか。うん、the panda first、うん。どんな感じでしょう。パンダさん。うん、うん、うん、I could taste the green tea flavor and it's very good. Next. Oh, look at all these little rabbits, the bunnies. It's very sweet and tasty. I can, um, I could taste the sakura flavor too. Wow, the base bread is very moist and very soft. It's very yummy. <laughs> I had such a wonderful time today. It was fun to make, fun to look at, and fun to eat. So, the last one is the one that I'm going to ask you about. 一つ前から作りたいなと思っているのがイラストパンの絵本です。絵本、はい、はい。絵本を作りたくて、こう全部絵をイラストパンで全部できている絵本で、それを作って日本だけじゃなくて世界中に届けたいっていう夢があります。素敵物語も作って、<笑>はい、はい、あいいですね。そしてエリさんは、はい、あのたくさんいろいろなものを作っていきたいっていうのはあるんですけれども。あのこれを作りたい教えたいって声をかけてくださる方がたくさんいらっしゃるのでその人たちがあの教えている時にその一部をチャリティーっていう形にあのできたら心ばかりなんですけどもあのつなげていけたら嬉しいなと思ってます、えーえーえー、このパン作りの魅力がどんどんたくさんの人に伝わるといいですね,、うんはいですねうん、今日は本当にありがとうございましたありがとうございました Bread is evolving in Japan in a way people have never seen, from how they look to the ingredients being used. Bread culture looks slightly different from country to country, and it's thrilling to see these Japanese innovations being loved around the world. I, for one, will be keeping my eye on where and how Japanese bread takes off from here. Thanks for watching today, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye!